This conference will now be recorded. So we are going to create a global class in the HANA app, app and we're going to consume that global class in our program. Let's click on this. New class. ZVAP underscore global class. Global class. So I'm creating it as a global class. Global class one. Next. So when we create a global class in the HANA app perspective, it is very much same as the local class that we had created in the no, in, in general regular program. That's how we are going to do that. And we're going to consume that in our program. we are assigning it to a, a transport request so just click on finish and here if you see by default there are certain things that gets created class definition class implementation or both both the, both the divisions are already been created here and the public section will create something like methods m1 methods m1 in the public section and then we are going to write here the implementation of this method m1 and method write m method m1 from c1 okay so it's it, this is a global class that we are creating so if you remember, we used to go to the SC24 and uh, create a global class, right? So here we're creating it with uh, within the within this editor kind of a screen. So it's very simple. In the one screen itself, we are creating everything. There we used to slide between multiple screens, right? So that's not the case here. So we'll go ahead with that. And uh, we'll go ahead with this ZVIP underscore GC1 is something, which is a global class, which we can make use of in our program. Okay, we're going to do that now as well. So we we'll just uh, do the syntax check, activate, and execute. OK, and the execution is not possible because this is a definition and implementation of a class. Now what we'll do is we'll consume this in a program. So we'll right click on this, new program. program pick global class we click on next and again so this is a program that we're creating here and this is the program so we are going to write that that uh, use that class so data 
obj type ref2 that uh, what you call the set vip gc1 right yeah set vip underscore gc1 type ref2 z vip underscore gc1 and startup selection create object obj create object obj and call method obj m1 so the moment you say obj automatically if there is a method automatically it will come here you can just select that and say okay and uh, do the syntax check activate and execute and you get this as an app application and uh, we get the output as you know i'm um, m1 from c and m, m method m1 from c1 this is what is the output that we got okay so this is how we are actually going to create a, a global class and we are going to consume that in our program now once you understand this is a very important basic because we are going to have this something called amdp uh, ABAP managed database procedures which will actually uh, make use of a uh, 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 classes concept So you need to practice this.